This video is meant to be a quick tutorial on adding fractions with positives and negatives. So here are some steps that you could use uh, to follow in order to get the correct answer when working with rational numbers. Um, I find it easier if I find the common denominator and then just write it off to the side at the beginning before I start worrying about my rules because then I'm less likely to forget what the denominator is or make that error. So I do that right at the beginning and then once I do that I ignore the denominators and I just treat the numerators like they're two integers and I already know how to combine integers and so it makes it really easy. Just at the end remember to simplify your answer. So I'm going to use this example as a way to demonstrate the steps. So the problem is stated 5 sixth plus negative 1 twelfth. So in order to add these fractions, or combine these fractions, I need to have a common denominator. So I see that on the right, the denominator is 12. So I ask myself, I say self, can I multiply 6 by anything to get 12? Yes, yeah, 6 times 2 is 12. So I'm going to change the fraction on the left to make it out of 12s. So now we have 10 twelfths plus negative 1 twelfth. So what I'm going to do is I am going to take those twelfths and I'm just going to write off to the right that my answer is going to be in twelfths. And I'm going to ignore the denominator now because I've already taken care of that. So I'm just going to look at the numerators and I have 10 plus negative 1. So I'm going to use my integer rules, different signs, so I'm going to subtract and keep the sign of the larger number. So 10 and negative 1 is 9. And it's a positive 9 because 10 is bigger than negative 1. My final step here is to see that 9 twelfths have a common factor of 3, so this simplifies to 3 fourths. Now for some people this will be the hardest part of the problem because sometimes we don't realize which numbers have common uh, factors. But when you see it and you realize it, try to simplify it. Let's try one more example. This problem here, negative 3 fifths plus negative 2 thirds. Uh, this is an example of same signs, but I also, but I need to notice that they do not have the same denominator. So I'm going to need to create common denominators. So I'm going to circle the bigger denominator, and I ask myself, I say self, is 3 times something 5? Well, no. Well, not the whole number, so I can't change thirds into fifths. So when that happens, it means I need to multiply them by each other. So I'm going to do th 3 times 5, and I'm going to multiply 5 times 3. So in this problem, both fractions changed the way that they look. So now I have negative 9 fifteenths plus negative 10 fifteenths. But notice by multiplying the first fraction by 3 over 3 and the second fraction by 5 over 5, I have the same denominator. So now I can add these fractions. So what I'm going to do like the last time is I'm going to take that common denominator and I'm going to write it off to the side that where my answer will be. It's 15. And I'm going to ignore that bottom there and I'm only going to look in the numerator now. And I have negative 9 plus negative 10. Same signs add and keep this sign. So my answer is negative 19 fifteenths. Now I can either leave it like this as an improper fraction and sometimes that'll be an appropriate thing to do. Or if I'm dealing with a problem where it already asked you to change it or if it's a word problem often you'll have to change it so this problem negative 19 fifteenths is the same thing as negative 1 and 4 fifteenths so putting it all together I'm gonna first find a common denominator here and since 11 and 7 do not have common factors I am going to multiply 11 and 7 by each other and I'm going to write the answer for the denominator for the answer 
which will be 77. And I'm going to combine the numbers in the numerator just like they are a typical integers problem. So negative 11 plus positive 28, they have different signs. So I subtract 28 minus 11 and I get 17. And so my final answer is 17 77ths. I hope this was helpful. Thanks.